Good morning, Tin. Good morning, Tin. Although it is almost afternoon time. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Minati And in this video, we are going to be trying out the Rose Ink Cream Bronzer in the color Capri. We're going to try it out in this video and see if we like her, love her, prefer something different. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you do that. I am on Instagram and on TikTok when I'm not here. So make sure you follow me over there. I also post three videos a week. This is one of the three. So make sure you subscribe here so you can follow along. You feel what I'm saying? And we're going to jump into the video. Now, what is so crazy is I was looking at the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Sun-Kissed Glow Bronzer in the color Deep, right? And it's right here. This is the Rose Ink one, this is the Charlotte Tilbury one, and clearly deeper on this side. So now I'm like, hold on. This looks like I'll give you my foundation color. Hold on a second. Uh, problems. <laughs> so we are gonna obviously do a full face. I'm gonna start off with, and I have the Milk Makeup Primer in my suitcase. This is the problem. I have it in my suitcase. I did a video and somebody's like, how do you like that primer? And I have only used it one time, that one time at band camp when I was on travel. So I don't even know how I like it. You feel what I'm saying? So you'll know how I like it when I travel again and I use it. <laughs> I don't even know, you know? It's not a duplicate, you feel me? But this is a NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Matte Primer. We already know that she is good. I do have in my cart, my Sephora cart, the NARS Soft Matte Primer because Angie Renee says that she likes it, so I'm gonna use that. Patrick Star also has this setting spray that Steph Fritz XO mentioned on TikTok that I wanna get to, so I don't know, girl, this is so many things. I just switched so many keys. All right, so foundation, and we're gonna use the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup. This is the color 8 and 1. So this is the color Espresso. It is neutral and it is so good. So good, so good. Love it. And this is the Sigma Kabuki brush that I will link below. All the links to stuff that I use will be below. And you know, I recently shaved my face, so it looked good or whatever. I had my a laser hair removal appointment yesterday and I'm doing full body laser. If you follow my vlogs, then you already know that if you don't follow my vlogs, make sure that you do. At this appointment, I added my sideburns. You can literally laser your whole face, but I enjoy shaving it each month as part of my beauty routine. I don't want to freaking laser my face. Like what in the world? But, 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 if you do have a hormonal hair that grows on your cheeks like a beard, go for it, girl. Go for it. The face is painful, honey. It's a quick procedure. Procedure, praise God, but the face is painful, honey. That I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna skirt around it, baby. But it's fast and it's worth it, so whatever. I have a high pain tolerance. If you don't, stay away. Cause obviously I have two tattoos, microblading and laser. And I used to wax for a whole year, yes. If you've been around for any amount of time, then you know that I just recently restocked on this Lawless Conceal the Deal concealer. I just love how whipped it is. This is the color Mink. It's a great color, it blends well, it's full coverage. I don't have any issues with this concealer. So I restocked on it. My sponge is, was soaked. It's now damp. <laughs> Watch my video on dampening your beauty sponge to make sure that your sponge is the level that it should be when you do your makeup because it's very easy for your sponge to be either too dry or too wet, honey. And I showed you what it looks like, what the makeup looks like when it's just not correct, okay? So make sure you do that. But of course, we're always blending. You see how I blend the outside first because I want the inner part of my eye to dry some more. I just basically took some product and put it here, put more, and now I'm going toward the inner part of the eye, pinching it to get on the side of the nose because I want to highlight the side of my nose. We are going to highlight the nose and the forehead and the chin in just a second. And I'll link this hair below too in case you're wondering like, ooh, hair from half down. Oh yes, honey, this is my go-to baby. I have done this hairstyle for years and it costs less than $30. <laughs> and I've used so many of them. It just is what it is. Okay, so right down the middle of the nose, I'm looking at the mirror here because hello. How else am I gonna get this thing straight? And if it's not straight, it gets fixed by the contour. So there's no need to worry if it's straight. Now, this is to me an advanced <laughs> way to do concealer. And I've mentioned this several times because I go right here under the cheek, start where the sideburns are. You don't need to do that if you are a beginner. But if you're advanced and have been doing this for some time, you feel comfortable, you feel like you have a handle on what's going on, go ahead and do that. And you can even bring it close to the mouth. I don't always do that, but it does make a slight difference. Go ahead and do this because 
it makes a difference. Like, come on, it brings up the face. Make sure it connects to your hairline though, not like over here. Let me clarify. You want the, the reverse contour because it's just it's foundation right now. We haven't contoured yet, but you see how it isolates the top and the bottom to look like we have contoured. So you're putting the concealer closest to this part of the ear so that it looks like the contour goes to the hairline. Let me fix that because I don't want you to be confused. I said it and it made sense to me, but that wasn't very clear. <laughs> and now to the forehead and it has dried a bit, which is okay because you get more payoff. Like you've seen other YouTubers talk about that, right? Gets you the more payoff. We're focusing right here in the center because we are going to use the bronzer, which depending on the color could be a contour for me, but looking at it, I can tell it's gonna be a bronzer. Warm and give me warmth as opposed to a contour, which would be neutral and dark, which would give me a shadow. So this is the time where we Dun, dun, dun. Hop into this rose ink. The color is Capri and it's a cream bronzer. I could use my sponge, but I'm gonna use it for powder. So let me use the brush that I have been using for my contour color. It goes in the same place, okay? This is the number 702 brush from It Cosmetics, okay? So put some in here, gather it. I don't even know how much I'm gathering because it does have old product on it, but that's just, just what I do. Let's check this out. Are you seeing any difference? What are we seeing? Anything? Looks nice. Ooh. When I'm pouncing it, I'm not picking up a lot, which could be interpreted two different ways, okay? In one way, if you're a beginner, this is great because you are not going to get so much at first where you're like, oh my God, I just made a mistake. How can I draw back from this? I took too much bronzer, what am I gonna do? But if you are advanced and you wanna get there quickly, then of course the foundation that I've been using as a contour, which is the KVD Good Apple Bomb. That one is so creamy. That honey, <laughs> you take too much, you're gonna be looking like what? You know, you, pref you might prefer that one or, like me, I'm advanced. I like this though. I don't mind going in many times to build up to make this the way I want it to be. I'm okay with that too. You know, I can go either way. I like it because it's giving my face warmth because the concealer is more neutral and then my foundation was neutral, right? So it is giving my face warmth. What I do love is that it is not so red. The Charlotte Tilbury one, it's more red, okay? And this one is not as much, so I like it. Wow, now you know that the shades are going to look different on different products. So for instance, like I've mentioned before in different videos, this one is showing up in a good way, but I know that it'll show up more if my foundation were lighter, but I still like it. Let's do the nose. I'm gonna call this more of a contour than I am a bronzer because the fact that it's not so red on me. So this to me is definitely giving more subtle contour and that is not a bad thing because you know that when I use the KVD one, I be having to go real easy. <laughs> Cause number one, I mean, the shade is extremely dark because I'm using that as a contour. Comment and let me know if you're confused right now. And this is the Sephora 57 brush that I'm pinching to snatch my nose. Yo, no lie, looking at myself in the mirror, I feel like I can use this color on my entire face, like I told you. <laughs> like, I feel like I can use this as a foundation. Oh my God. And I don't know what the coverage would be, but I totally feel like I can. I think that this looks really, really pretty. So let's blend this out with the side of this sponge to blend out any harsh lines, which we can clearly see like, hello, we're not doing harsh lines, baby. Turning over your sponge this direction and blend because you wanna keep the dark part of the makeup at the bottom and the light part over here. That's gotta make sense to you. I know it makes sense to you because in the same way, I'm here too, right? If I turn this over, I'm putting the contour where my highlight is. We don't want that, okay? And then if you're following me on IG, then you know that I have recently picked up this Color Wow product. 
that I learned about from the Sephora Squad event that took place in LA. And I've been using it to fill in my hairline and girl, this stuff is good. I have the dark brown one, but then recently what I just showed you is the black one because closer to where my hair is more dense, I feel like black will go better, but I do have the dark brown one, like I said, and it does make a very subtle difference. It's buildable. And Chris Appleton was actually using it on a model in front of us. And he said that it's waterproof. So yeah, honey, link below. I know you see the difference. This stuff is good. I built it up, be careful, because I was doing it more in this angle, at an angle. If you were to turn it this way and go like that, you would literally give yourself a hairline. And obviously that's not what I'm trying to do. Like a lineup, excuse me, you give yourself a lineup. So I'm going like this so that it's more soft, but this stuff is good, honey. And for the eyes, I'm gonna do a real quick and easy look. Remember this palette from Huda Beauty, Topaz Obsessions? I used to love this ages ago. I'm gonna build up with the reddish brown situation, taking the two of them, tapping off the excess and right into my crease. And you saw me use the Too Faced eyeshadow palette. I have been using that a lot for my quick and easy looks. And you know I normally like to use a paint pot. I'm doing things that I normally don't do. And it's it's okay, it seems to be okay, but you know I like to stick to what I know. But I don't have the paint pot here in the bathroom and I really should go grab it. But this has been, it has been doing what it needs to do. Today's makeup look is very looking, it's looking and it's feeling very matte in a good way. But right now, I don't wanna be this matte. <laughs> so I'm gonna use the Urban Decay All Night of Vitamin C Cactus Flower Water. I have not used this before, long lasting makeup setting spray. Got my fan ready because hello, links are all below. It smells good. Just a slight dew to the face. My understanding is that this can be used before as skincare or after as a setting spray. Oh my God, I think that looks so good. Comment and let me know, comment and let me know. All right, and then for the lip, let me do my new combo because I know y'all be wanting some new combo options, so here we go. So this is the Sephora Collection Cream Lip Stain. The color is 26. And on the inside, I'm using the same product, but the color is 76. And then on the inside to brighten this up, you don't have to do this, but I am going to. Today, this is the color 66. Again, a gradient, just like eyeshadow, building it up. And we can't stop here, but because my face is looking satin, I want my lip to be glossy. So I'm going to put on it this Sephora Collection Outrageous Plump Reflect, oh dear God. <laughs> All these names, I'm gonna link it below, okay? This is the number 02. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I feel like this is the most gorgeous look known to man. What do you think? We ended up doing a soft glam, the almost wedding day look. Like you could literally do this for your wedding. I mean, this is just every day. This is very soft glam every day. Do it because you feel like it, you know, do it like it's your B-day type situation. I love this look and I am so into glosses these days, mainly this combination. I love it. It is my favorite nude combo. And you know, I don't do gloss very often. Anyway, Anyway, I love the rose ink bronzer. I love the highlighter. It is totally my fave now. Obviously, all the products are linked below. I want you to check that description box out. Make sure you are subscribed, follow me on Instagram and on TikTok, and comment, let me know which part of this look you loved the most. I do giveaways. I've been doing them a lot on IG, but we're gonna, we're gonna still be doing them here on YouTube, so make sure you comment. They're random. You never know. I might tap your shoulder and go from there. But as always, I'm glad you're here, and thanks for watching my video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.